Hello, welcome back for another lesson. Shear nun zain. Shear lesson or measure nun Hebrew number fifty. Zain the uh, Hebrew numeral seven. Shear nun zain lesson fifty seven. Introduction to reading Hebrew. Again, we're uh, given some look-alike letters: the he, which has the ha sound, and the cheth, which has the ha sound. And we see that the only difference is, is this little gap here. So that is a problem, um, especially if uh, we're dealing with handwriting and it isn't written so clear, or if it's a font where it isn't such a clear break. Um, but uh, you know what? Let's begin. Number one El Rachum Vachanun. God, a uh, uh, merciful God and gracious God. To Chamol al Amecha, have pity, have mercy on your people. Rachem al Nachlasecha, have uh, mercy on Nachlatecha, rather, I'm sorry, on your portion, on your inheritance. Chusatna Karov Rachamecha. Chanenu v'anenu. Okay, four. Habita v'anenu. Ba'et tzara. Uh, habita, uh, look at us, gaze at us. V'anenu and answer us. Or this is gaze. Gaze v'anenu and answer us. Ba'et tzara, at our time of distress. Why? Five key because the Kha Adonai, because to you, O Lord, Hayushua is the salvation. God's the only one that can save us. Six Bicha To Khaltenu Eloha Slichot. Seven Ki Atahu Adonai Elohenu. Ki because Ata you are. He, who, you are, or he, Adonai, our, the Lord, Eloheinu, our God. You are he, the Lord, our God. Okay, and now we have some Ani Mamins. Uh, the Ani Mamin is, comes from the Rambam, the Maimonides. Reb Moshe bin Maimon was a Spanish Egyptian rabbi. He composed a famous uh, commentary on the Mishnah. He composed a lot of famous books, but uh, this comes from the commentary on the Mishnah. Uh, a portion called Per uh, Chelek, uh, the chapter of the Chelek, the portion, which is the 10th chapter of Sanhedrin. And over there, he lists things that are required beliefs things that are required beliefs for Judaism and over there is brought down in you know essay form what these required beliefs are and they they are discussed in long form and then later in the early renaissance period a some a unknown author an unknown um, poet distilled those um, that list into what has come to be called the anima means the I believes. Uh, if there's anything akin to a creedal statement in Judaism besides the Shema Yisrael, it would be uh, the anima means. Um, and this is, this is not all of them, but this is uh, a few of them. Okay, so let's go. Line nine, ani ma'amin. I believe be'amuna shlema. With complete faith, Shehabore that the Creator, Yit Barach Shemo, may His name be blessed. Who Yachid, He is alone. The En Yachidut Kamohu, and there is he, He's unified. He is a oneness. The En Yachidut Kamohu Bishum Panim, and there is not a a a oneness, a unity like Him. Bishum in any way. 
meaning that when we say God is one, that is not to imply that there is another. Um, if we have one pencil, that implies that we might have two pencils, or that there might be other pencils out there. That is not what we're saying here. We are saying that we believe that God is alone. There is no other. Fuhu lavado Elohenu, and he alone, lavado Elohenu is our God. Haya, who was, hove, who is, biye, and will be. And this is uh, his way of saying God is eternal. He was, he is, and he will be. Okay, that's one of those creedal statements. The next is another one. There's 13 of them. He just gives us two here. Anima min, I believe, be with complete faith. Shazot ha Torah, that, that this Torah, lo tehe muchlefet, it shall not be switched out, should not be switched, lo tehe Torah acheret, and there shall not be Torah acheret, another Torah, me'et bore from the Creator. It barach shemo. May his name be blessed. This, of course, means that the, the we believe that the the revelation that God gave us at Sinai is self sufficient, and we have no need of other um, other other books, uh, other religious books. Um, of course, we, there are other religious books that are uh, added onto the Torah, but they only come to confirm the Torah. But uh, what he's is bringing down more firmly is, is, is he's speaking against the claims of certain other religions who claim that their book or that their people somehow replace the Torah and God's people. And they argue that we should somehow leave our, our way, uh, our, uh, we should leave the Torah. And uh, he is saying clearly here that um, our Torah will not be uh, switched out for any other Torah ever. Okay, and finally we have uh, 17, we have a, a, a statement that's at the very end of the Elenu prayer. It's a quote from the prophet Zechariah, Zechariah talks about the end of days, at the very end of everything, when we all see thing, things in, in absolute clarity. The prophet says, Be'yom ha'hu, on that day, ye Hashem, the Lord will the Lord will be one, and his name will be one. Meaning that all the confusion as to who and what God is uh, will disappear, and that all nations and all peoples will see with absolute clarity um, the, the one God of the Bible. 18. Hashem Ma'oz Chayai Mimi Evchad. Yeah, uh, God is the is the the, the might, of my life, mimi efcha. From who should I fear? Nineteen, horenu. Excuse me, horeni Adonai darchecha. Teach, instruct me, Lord, in your ways. Uncheni baorech miyushar, and guide me in a. Orech Miyushar, a straight path. Okay, that's that lesson. I hope it was beneficial. Um, join me next time for the next lesson. I believe it's the last one. Call to Fasloch Keep learning.